In an earlier set of videos, I looked at reducing the weight of my e-bike, and there's a whole series of videos. In one of those videos, I looked at changing the Shimano Altegra brake calipers for these Z-Race calipers. Not only did that change save me about 50 grams from the weight of my bike, but once I had sold the original Altegra brake calipers, it returned about 36 pounds to my wallet. However, there's no point in having good value brake calipers if they are of poor quality or they don't work. In this video, I'm going to review those Z-Race brake calipers and tell you what I think about them. Unlike some of its competitors, which are made in two halves and then bolted together, these Z-Race calipers are made out of a single billet of aluminium alloy. That removes an area for potential mechanical weakness and potential paths for brake fluid leakage. The calipers have quite an angular style and many of the surfaces have machining marks left on them. I suspect both of these are to keep the costs down. The bodies seem to have been finished by anodizing, which should give it some corrosion protection. It also allows them to be offered in a number of different colors. Overall, they have a cheaper, less sleek look than the calipers from the major competition. However, they're not unpleasant to look at. In this part of the video, I should say thanks to Luke at Trace Fellow, who previously took a deep dive look into these Z-Race calipers. There's a link to his video in the top right hand of the screen. He noted a couple of design anomalies, both of which don't seem to feature in my set of the calipers. First of all, there was a washer that acted as a spacer in the side of the caliper. Unlike Luke, I couldn't feel or hear the washer rattling. Secondly, Luke noticed that because of the way the drilling was carried out, inserting the hydraulic line could block off one of the oil passages. Looking into my caliper, the cross hole intersects the main hole, and therefore the hydraulic hose couldn't block that cross hole. So in my calipers, it looks like both of those issues have been addressed. These are the brake pads that were supplied with the Z-Race brake calipers. In terms of their form and their function, they're effectively the same as the Shimano ones I had on my Altegra brake set. Indeed, I believe you could just buy Shimano brake pads and fit them into these calipers. Although the calipers were quite cheap, these brake pads don't seem to be cheaply manufactured. For instance, they have these small cooling fins on the top of them, just like the Shimano ones. And also, if we can zoom in, you can see that the brake pad material is actually a metallic sintered variety. These have had about 3,000 kilometers of use, and at the moment they've probably about one-third worn. So they are not lasting too badly, really. It's likely, though, that the metallic pads will lead to more disc wear. The pads are held apart by this standard spring that you get on most brakes, and they're held in place by this small screw. Now, if I bring that up, this small screw is a little bit cheap looking. It would have been nice to have had one that was plated or perhaps even stainless steel. However, it does the job. So overall, these brake pads, despite the calipers being relatively cheap to buy, seem to be quite good quality. In terms of braking performance, I'll talk about that a bit later. The fittings on these brakes are Shimano flat mount standard and they were supplied with adapters that would allow 140 or 160 millimeter discs. The hydraulic input took a standard hose, olive and nut. Its fitting was helped by a thoughtful design feature. The hydraulic hose hole was drilled at a slight angle. I had absolutely no trouble fitting these to the bike. I haven't had any problem with the disc rubbing. Although, admittedly, that's probably got more to do with the disc and the disc mount than the caliper. Each brake has a bleed port on the side of the caliper here, and it's blocked off by this screw. Unfortunately, I didn't have an adapter to fit into the bleed ports. In the end, I improvised and carried out a gravity bleed. 
Despite this issue, I didn't have any more problem bleeding these brakes than I did my Shimano Altegra. As stated earlier, the brakes were fitted to my Orbe again M20. I use these Z-Race brake calipers in conjunction with my Shimano Altegra grifters. Although I've only used the brake pads that were supplied with the calipers, I have used them with two different types of disc. There's a link in the top right to my disc video. And actually, there's very little difference between the two sets of discs in terms of the braking power and feel. The rear brake has, well, enough power to lock the rear wheel. I'm not sure how much more power you need. As far as the front brake is concerned, there seems to be plenty of power. I haven't really noticed any difference between these Z-Race brakes and my Shimano Ultegra that I had on before. When I say I haven't noticed any difference, there is perhaps one small difference, and that's the sound of the brakes. These Z-Race ones, when I'm braking, there's a much more of a metallic sound. Don't know if you could hear that. Now that's not a disconcerting sound. In fact, I quite like it because it gives me an extra auditory feedback on how the brakes are working. So it's certainly not a negative. I've never had any problem with squeaking or screeching of the brakes. As for feel, well, again, I think the feedback through the brakes, both physically through the brake levers and audibly is very good. Just as good as my Shimano Tegra. In fact, the audible feedback is a little bit better. Nope, still got good feel, even on loose gravel. I've now done about 3,000 kilometers using these Z race brakes. And although I live in a fairly flat area of the country, I did, for a day, take the bike up into the Peak District, which is much, much hillier. Having said that, my stroke damaged brain doesn't allow me to go down hills very fast. So on many of those long downhills, I was constantly on the brakes. This gave them quite a good workout. There was no fading of the brakes. As you can see by the dirt on the brakes, I have used these in inclement weather. However, I haven't really used them in very heavy rain. They coped perfectly well with light rain. And because the brake pads are metallic in nature, I wouldn't expect heavy rain to have a significant effect on their performance. There's been no leakage of hydraulic fluid, either at the hose junction, through the pistons or anywhere else. Everything has remained tight and screwed up. OK, it's early days, but so far I've had no problems whatsoever. It's now time to summarise what I think about the Z-Race XG brake calipers. I suppose the bottom line is, would I buy them again? And the answer to that is, yes. Indeed, I'm currently looking at a new group set for my gravel bike, in which I would specify these calipers. But why would I buy them in preference to the safe Shimano alternative? I suppose there are three things really. They're cheaper, at about half the price. They're lighter, 50 grams less than Altegra, and they work just as well. I suppose the jury is still out in terms of reliability, but so far I don't have any concerns. Should you buy these brake calipers? Well, that's really up to you. However, with the aforementioned reasons, I think you should at least seriously consider them. It's unlikely that you'll find this video entertaining. However, if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up as that will tell YouTube that you found it useful and then it may recommend it to other like-minded cyclists. Also, if you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing and you can subscribe by clicking on the five minute round all now and also here are a couple of other videos you may find useful. From me until the next video, it's goodbye.